Good morning. Today is Tuesday, the 9th of August, and it's the feast day of Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. Um, her ordinary name was Edith Stein. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of our fathers, who brought the martyr Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross to know your crucified Son, and to imitate him even unto death, grant through her intercession that the whole human race may acknowledge Christ as its Saviour, and through him come to behold you for eternity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. First reading is from Hosea chapter 2. The Lord says this, I'm going to lead her out into the wilderness and speak to her heart. There she will respond to me as she did when she was young, as she did when she came out of the land of Egypt. I will betroth you to myself forever, betroth you with integrity and justice, with tenderness and love. I will betroth you to myself with faithfulness, and you will come to know the Lord. The Word of the Lord. The Gospel is Gospel of, from St. Matthew, chapter 25. Jesus told this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were sensible. The foolish ones did take their lamps, but they brought no oil, whereas the sensible ones took flasks of oil as well as their lamps. The bridegroom was late and they all grew drowsy and fell asleep. But at midnight there was a cry, The bridegroom is here! <clears throat> Go out and meet him! At this all the bridesmaids woke up and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish ones said to the sensible ones, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. But they replied, There may not be enough for us and for you. You'd better go to those who sell it and buy some for yourselves. They'd gone off to buy it when the bridegroom arrived. Those who were ready went in with him to the wedding hall. The door was closed. The other bridesmaids arrived later. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you solemnly, I do not know you. So stay awake, because you do not know either the day or the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. So briefly to tell the story of St. Teresa Benedicta, uh, commonly known by her ordinary name, Edith Stein. She was brought up uh, an Orthodox Jewish woman. She was very bright. Um, and she studied philosophy, in particular phenomenology, under Edward Husserl. Eventually, through various circumstances, she became both, first of all, knowledgeable and then attracted to religious life. She became a Catholic, she converted to Catholicism, and then she became a sister, a nun, uh, in Germany. Before the war began, um, Second World War, she was uh, transferred to the Belgian, not Belgian, the Dutch convent um, to keep her out of trouble away from the, the German Nazis because of her Jewish background. But when there was uh, some sabotage against the, the Nazis in Holland, the reprisal was to round up all the people, converts, to Catholicism from Judaism and uh, take, transport them off to the uh, concentration camp where they were killed. And she was rounded up, transported to Auschwitz and died there um, like a month or so after arriving. So she's a martyr, the Second World War martyr. She is also somebody who was a great witness to the power of Jesus. She was well known across Europe at the time, um, in a, certainly in some circles anyway, and is seen as somebody who's a, somebody who's for us an example, who stood up against Nazism and then paid the price. She was a martyr witnessing to the power of Jesus and the truth of Jesus. So the readings fit in well. <coughs> the first reading about um, Hosea um, and how certainly as sisters, part of their, their vows was to see themselves as the Bride of Christ. And she, Edith Stein certainly saw her, her 
themselves that way. Then the f wise and the foolish bridesmaids who had enough oil, because the whole point of the story was to be ready for whatever, because you know not the day or the hour. And uh, Sister Benedict, Sister Teresa, she, she was ready. She knew that there was the threat of danger um, and that she, she went and was, as I say, eventually martyred. Uh, lesson for us, first of all, um, to admire somebody who changes their religion, comes to Catholicism uh, in search of truth, and then somebody who is prepared to die and always ready for whatever the Lord calls him or her to do. And she certainly was. So we turn to our bidding prayers. The response is, you redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs you were, who were slain for God's word, let us give glory to our Saviour, the faithful and true witness. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who bore witness to your love, set us free to live for you. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who proclaimed your saving death, give us a deep and constant faith. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs who took up your cross, grant us courage for every trial. You redeemed us by your precious blood. Through the martyrs washed in the blood of the Lamb, give us grace to conquer our weakness. You redeemed us by your precious blood. And you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful, ever-living God, you gave St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross the courage to witness to the Gospel of Christ, even to the point of giving her life for it. By her prayers, help us to endure all suffering for love of you, and to seek you with all of our hearts, for you alone are the source of life. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God come down on you and remain with you always, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. Have a good day.